Well, welcome to Coffee Break. Well, thanks for having me. I'm excited to, uh, first of all, I'm excited because I saw the movie and I was just desperate to talk about it. Boyhood, after 12 years, it finally came out. How do you feel about that? You know, it's mixed feelings when you work on something so long. It yeah. becomes so special to you. And, but what was so unique about that experience is that before, when we'd never shown it before, nobody knew it had taken place over 12 years. It was great, and, and to see the characters age, especially the, your, your son in the movie, that was shocking to see him grow up. It's almost like you were seeing family home video. It is about what part of us stays the same and what part of us changes. Yeah, so I mean, it's the, the same the, essence. Yeah, the I know, and that's, that's the power of the film, is what's the essence of that little boy in the opening shot of the movie is present in the closing shot of the movie. That's the same person, and yet it's not the same person. So there's a lot of buzz, award season buzz, around this movie. Do you think this will happen? Will you, um, for us who started a movie 13 years ago and have passionately loved it for more than the last decade, it's kind of a dream come true that you would even say that sentence. When I was a kid, um, I did this movie, Dead Poet Society, right? Yeah. And that was, that's the last we, time. We've kind of heard about it. Right, <laughs> but when I, that movie, to a certain person, that movie really moved people and they've had an ownership of that movie. And I've never, I've made other movies that I liked and other movies that, that people liked and, and things, but I've never had that feeling since then of a movie that really connected with people's hearts. Yeah. And uh, it's a good feeling. So we're gonna go to a break right now. Gracias. Gracias. Hostia. <laughs>